Hello, my name's Matt. And my name's Jordan. And welcome back to update 36 of Finishscape in Minecraft. Well, in this one, it's uh, basically a complete overhaul redo of uh, Varrock uh, with interiors and the river, Edgeville, the uh, underground sewers, and basically the landscape. Basically the entire top quarter of the map, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. So, Joel said fly over here first, not entirely sure why. We well, could... no, just to, sort of show the whole area. This is, at the moment, this is the... Flattest part. Um, no, 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 the survival games map. Oh, yeah, so you uh, see the boundaries coming up. Yeah, the boundaries and stuff. This is going to be the re-updated uh, one, because we, we now know what we're doing with it. Uh, beforehand, it was sort of like, yeah, let's just get it out quick. But now we've taken our time on it, and this is basically what we've created. Yeah. Um, there's going to be no boundaries, obviously, and this is going to just be replanted into the map. Uh, and change back to being able to be played around with uh, the rest of the map. I think we should come back here and put some more hills later on because that seems pretty flat now. Before yeah. I thought it was okay, but since we went ape with the hills on the other side, like, I'm just, like a couple of hills here, not too much, little archway. There's... Fucking sheep! <laughs> we didn't do too much on this part, but if we come down south, I think we're going to be a bit disappointed now, George, because this was the first bit we did and we were really happy with it, but given recent places that we've done, like we've, we've done the mine ups up, up, so it's a bit nicer looking and then you'll start seeing hills now which is a change yay so that tree needs, no longer flat that tree needs being fixed we are going to um Whoa. go over basically the entire map oh yeah yeah I've, I'm, uh, no i'm just looking at the shader i'm just getting spazzy i'm just getting a massive sh glass shadow which is a bit annoying well yeah we are going to go over the entire map we always have said that if you don't believe us go check the uh Yesterday. earlier videos oh yeah but I mean, we, we decided to make the survival map and we thought, why not just make it 10 times better and then incorporate into the server. So we're basically doing two jobs in one. Yeah. And also, uh, just all we need to do now is add things into the chests. Oh, um, the interiors were done by uh, our 40W, w I think is... Uh, it's... 40WBA, I think. Yeah, I just say 40 or Matt or anything. So thanks so much for uh, doing every single table. In the Varrock and Edgeville world, it's a much harder job than it sounds. That would have taken hours to do. Yeah, it did. It did. Well, it it took him like take... three hours. While we were building all of this, it took him three hours to do that. It also took us like twelve hours yesterday to do this because we just we just added so much into yeah, like, it. We've redone this because it just looks better now. Before it was just stone, brick, and wood, so there's a bit of a difference there. You can see sort of like a, a line of a hill around it, and then. Wizard Circle, or whatever it's called, is that what it's called? I think it's called, I don't really know, I like, don't know if it's got any... Like a Nexus off League, I guess. Yeah, Phew, shooting up woods. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is disappointing compared to... It is, to isn't it? Yeah, we were really happy with this, but it's good, because if you were to land and walk around, it is much less hilly. There's, yeah, there's more no hilly. more... It is much better, no so... Sadness. The hills are good, but not nowhere near compared to what we did later on, which is great. <laughs> George redid the river as well. I'm just showing that off now. I hate to say diverse gameplay, more diverse gameplay, but because it sounds like you know we're developing a game, but it's literally what it is. You can now do more things on it. Yeah, so this is the river, George put gla uh, grass, uh, sand around the other side, and sugar made it look things. clean in the middle as well. Yeah, and then put, like put a hill in there. Um, let's not go that way for now, George. I like, look, let's just make sure we get okay. anywhere else. We'll go up here. Right. Yeah. Oh, did you put vines on the trees here? Uh yeah, a few vines, a few areas, because it was too plain. But I didn't want to add like another hill. Just don't want the yeah, whole map. That's pretty, hill, that's pretty so. good. So, and then we've got bushes as well, which is also good. Mm -hmm. So this is what another hill we've had, and this is the, probably the biggest hill. It goes everywhere. Yeah, I was going to say that. You can, get onto the, you can get onto the walls and the roofs, I think, from it, which is pretty good. Yep. Fine. And we've added side. this on top of it as well. So it's sort of like we don't know. Right, this was the question. Will will you prefer this or the map as it is? Because yeah. this one is actually better, but it doesn't play like RuneScape. As so, much, yeah. would you prefer it to play like RuneScape or to be RuneScape but just better in every way? Yeah, we were thinking of adding this in over the normal map and basically just upgrading the map. But we wondered what, what you guys think, really, because this doesn't look as much like RuneScape. We'd prefer it technically, really, because it looks what? better. But yeah, um, also there's. Where are you, George, by the way? I'm just flying over towards oh, the fire. Just another over. hint. In the Salt Game maps, there's chests. There's a chest down there. Just, just let us show that one. <laughs> there's probably, you've probably spotted more in the map. Well, yeah, just map. have a browse around it and stuff and uh, maybe familiarise yourself with them. There's loads of secret ones. Like The map is so big that we could put in quite a lot and it still doesn't feel 
yeah. jam packed full. So I've added some hills into the Grand Exchange because I'm up here at the moment, George, on a TP to me. Yeah, I can see you. All right, and then I've put that pond behind behind it there. Um, there's Only another, on these to go down there. There's loads oh, to show. oh, yeah, that's the bit I'm working on at the moment before we start. Oh, right, off. okay. Um, we've basically just added hills everywhere. It looks more natural. We've added different types of trees in, so this is the way a, a normal biome generates, really, with the birch trees as well. And also, at the very back, the way you get into the... We just like adding small little things. The way you get into the back of the Grand Exchange, I redid that cave, so it looks a little bit nicer. And I've fucked that up, apparently. Oops. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, yeah. How did I manage that? Uh, I have what? no idea. Oh, it is you. It doesn't really matter. It looks okay. Um, don't forget that we haven't got the Edgeville underground in this anymore, because... It, it was. It's just not very nice to look at. Like the the whole place. Not gonna lie. And the map would be way too big as well. Yeah, it'd just be extortionately big. Like I mean, if you were to fight on the the uh, underground, I mean that's a map in itself, really. The whole underground. Yeah. So. Speaking of just, which, did you block out the other end of the? I did. I did. Right, that's now. that's what made me say it before. And yeah. also, there's lily pads to walk across every yeah, now and then in case now. you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the big hill there. Oh, oh yeah. Um, there's a little tent bit here. Which has about it was like two very small white tents. Three white ones. How rude. Was it three? Sorry, Jord. So <laughs> I upgraded them with different colours, made them look more tent like. I made up a new <laughs> Mine design. Mine was so crap, wow. I made up a new design for a cooker with fire underneath. I was quite pleased with that. But yeah, I said that was genius. Like that is just glorious. And the, of course it's not flat, this works its way up a hill. And with the trees it actually looks like a campfire. This place is really nice actually. When I look yeah. at it fully finished, I didn't see it with trees and bone meal. So All right. That's quite nice. So we'll come back over here to Barbarian Village, I think. There's just another hill there. Not much has changed here, really. Except for the whole fucking shitload of stuff behind it. Yeah, it's just loading up. <laughs> All right. Because it's just like, yeah, not not much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's so much flat land here, because this goes all the way down the side of Draenor, we just I thought... Draenor oh, was one of the worst places. I'm going to add a mountain here. Yeah, Draenor was full of dead trees. I left some dead trees there, because I sort of liked it, but... Uh, we replaced them with we b did big trees like this, but then changed it to the dark, dark wood and dark leaves, and they look really nice and they suit it pretty well. So anyway, the mountain there has a bit of snow on top of it. Works all works its way all the way around up to the limit, which is pretty good. And the front of Draenor is not flat and it's not got dead trees just, anymore. I drop down and stand there and just show the difference. Yeah, it is pretty different. It was so it's bad so, before. Yeah, it was it, one it was... of my least favorite places. So same with Lumbridge, like that is just so flat and just depressing. But this this isn't our priority at the moment to make everywhere look better. Um, so this won't be like this anyway, update yeah. will be, you know, sometimes but barely ever. Yeah, so I think anyway, it's time, Matt. I can definitely tell what you're doing. Well, I don't. Know, I keep I keep looking at the fire altar there, but I'll leave that for now. I uh, I chucked a meteor here because we didn't really know to put. So it's the best meteor I can make. There was too many hills and there wasn't enough knocking down, so why not just break up the map a bit with a meteor? Yeah, and half of Edgeville's bank as well, which I copied over and destroyed. But yeah. you don't need to know that. <laughs> so I yeah. changed I changed the cloth to purple so it fit the theme of Draenor as well. Don't know if you noticed that, Jord. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, it's a very small thing. Also as well, another thing I quite liked here is... You know how see how it sort of gets deeper as the music yeah I know I out. noticed that that's pretty well done that yeah no but the trees as well behind it the stumps of course that tree would have got destroyed as well but they gradually get taller and taller the stumps because they're getting cut off very minor but you know another. oh this this bridge here just completely diverses everything I love it oh yeah these two it's quite a nice tree these two hills are pretty steep so we put a, a tree uh, a tree in I, I didn't a mean a tree I said I said tree <laughs> oh, I couldn't be bothered to another chest. This is the fire altar. It's probably not the fire altar in game. It's, it's de there's definitely an altar there, but I wanted to make a fire one because the nether blocks look pretty cool like this. Yeah. I just took I took over the earth one from on the other side of Varok, changed the blocks around, and there you go. That's the fire altar. Boom. Yeah. Bish bash bash. A random little f um, what's farm. it called? Farm. 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 Yeah, random, I get. I kept saying pfft. farm. Property of me. Just little pumpkins. Property of me. Oh right, my phone. I was gonna say if it said me, then I'd just be like. Yeah, this I just want, I saw it once on the creeper. Quest, I saw it on the creeper quest where they had a farm along a hill and I thought it looked quite nice, so I added one in there just because I didn't want to have a blank hill with more. Trees. The sewers. Yeah, yeah, I'm going over there. Now. Let's go. That's basically all the. Oh yeah, the, a slight change to the castle, not even worth showing, <laughs> but just like the bottom of it has changed to um, 
steel or something. Uh, iron blocks or iron, whatever they're called. And again, some more hills as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hill on this side, because it does make it look so much nicer if you stand at the front. Yeah, it does. Or if you fly up really high or anything, then, yeah. you know, it, it just makes it look loads, loads better. Yeah, hey, should we go? I'm down. Down Dig it down. We did. I, George was a bit. It was a bit uh, questionable, the idea that I had, but I decided to fill the entire sewer up with water so that basically the sewer is enormous and coming down here, it's a dead end. Not really, So I put water in here, so it's not really encouraged to come down here because, of course, you'll be swimming for ages. You can, though. There are quite a few chests around here, though, so that's the reason why you'd come down here. But the way we sort of like made sort of force people where to go is to have little islands of shit. Because it's <laughs> I mean, oh, sorry, mycelium. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, he, well, he, I mean, that might mean, mean that he's like you're like skitting the block. He literally means crap, like yeah, proper sewer, human feces. <laughs> and you have to run across it and get it all on your boots. Yeah. Um, and I mean, this goes all the way around. And also like loads of vines to make it look like it's barely used, which, you know, it's a sewer. So yeah. that there makes are, sense. There are, lots of, there are lots of pieces of crap that you can jump on here. But... Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. There's all, there are lots of chests down here. I don't know, we sort of, sort of wanted to discourage coming down here, but at the same time didn't really want to take it out because it's a pretty cool area. Except mm -hmm. for the Edgeville Underground. Edgeville Underground sucks ass. Yeah, that goes back, yeah, it that really goes back does. to the start down there. If you know RuneScape, the sewers, then there you go. This is the big death trap that I made because I didn't really know what to put here because I wanted to get rid of the water soon, so we had some bits that didn't have water. But this place looks so blank, so I put a big death hole. Do you want to jump down there, George? No. There you go. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm not going to go under it, yeah, but basically I'll... it's one layer of water and then you go into the... Uh, one layer the, of water. Void. The death. Void, that's the one. And there's three chests down here, and if you want to just try and go up the uh, the thing for... Well, basically, yeah. even even creative mode flying up takes ten years. Yeah. So, but going anyway, up the waterfall, that's basically it, barely right? worth it. Changes. Yeah, basically. basically. And we'll see you in the next video.